Here's a quick and dirty way to fake long exposures using stacked images. Let's say you're out shooting at this location and you forgot an ND filter or it's too bright and you don't have enough ND filters. There is a way that you can stack images to make it look like a long exposure. This location is perfect for it because you have a giant bridge, you have all of these posts sticking out of the water and nothing else in the image. If you had clouds, that would add to it. But if you had trees or people or boats, those would make this technique a little more challenging. So you notice in each, each scene here of this, we have water that's moving. And what I did was I used a tripod and I shot each picture at 1 one sixtieth of a second to expose for the image. There's 25 total images that I took. Now there's a formula here. Since I shot this at 1 one sixtieth of a second, I would need to take 160 pictures to simulate a one second long exposure. Obviously I'm not going to sit there and take that many pictures. So I only took 25. This technique will still work. Uh, I'm not going to go through how I edit each photo. I will put a link in the description to my full Lightroom editing course so you can edit photos like a pro. What I'm going to do is just show you a quick technique on how to fake the long exposure. With all 25 photos selected, I'll go right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, depending on how fast your computer is, that might take a while. I have a pretty quick computer and it still took about three minutes to stack all 25 images into one Photoshop document. Now imagine if you took 160. So you can see over here in the layers panel, all of the photos are here. Now I did shoot from a tripod, but I did not shoot with the remote. So my camera most definitely moved between shots. You can even see between these two layers, the camera moved. Uh, to make this technique even better, you want to make sure you auto align the layers. So with that top layer selected, roll down, hold shift, select that bottom layer, go up to edit, auto align layers. And I usually just select the auto option and hit OK. Now that our layers are auto aligned, you can again see you need a pretty quick computer to do this whole technique because it is a memory hog on Photoshop. Uh, you could either trust Photoshop or you can go through each layer by unchecking the top layer the next layer, the next layer, and you can see the only thing that changes between layers is the water and maybe a car on the bridge, but that's not going to be noticeable. So now we have all the layers aligned and you can see that this transparent border here, I did not have all of the images taken correctly. So definitely auto align them. And then what you'll do next is you need to have these as a smart object. So all the 25 layers still selected, we're going to convert to a smart object. You can either go to layer, smart object, convert to smart object. You can go to filter, convert for smart filters, or you can right click and convert to smart object. Now that we have all of the layers in one smart object layer. There's a technique here in Photoshop 
Now, if you remember, we unclicked the layers and the water moved. So since the water is in a different location in each picture, but everything else stays the same, Photoshop is going to go through each layer, find a pixel that is different in each layer and replace it in the other images. So since the water moved, it's going to make the water that was in location A move it to location B for the entire river. So to do that, we're going to go back to layer, smart objects, stack mode, and mean, M-E-A-N. And there you have it. Now, it took Photoshop about three minutes to finish that, and you can notice it even filled in the transparent border on the side because there were pixels missing, therefore Photoshop replaced them. Uh, this little green thing is just a buoy, not a burnt pixel on my camera. You can see now that the water is perfectly smooth and everything else stayed the same and if you had clouds in the picture it would have made those nice too so here's the before and the after before after and now you can go ahead and finish editing from here check out my description for other full courses on how to edit photos in Lightroom and check out my channel too if you want to see other tips and tricks.